Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a lore video for you guys on GTA 4 and it's a very different type of lore video than I normally do. And I apologize that I haven't made a lore video in some time. I've just been busy with so many things. I know it's been like a month and a half since I made a lore video, but I have a few coming up on GTA 4. Here's one of them and I got a few coming up on Saints Row 2. But anyways, I'm visiting family for the holidays in New York right now and decided that I'd visit one of my favorite neighborhoods growing up as a kid. This is actually probably my favorite neighborhood um, uh, that I visited growing up as a kid. No, I didn't grow up in this specific neighborhood, but I, I am a little familiar with this place and I did come here when I was a, a kid. And I'll tell you guys why I love this uh, place so much, but this is Firefly Island um, uh, in real life. Or it is actually called Coney Island. Um, in GTA 4, it's called Firefly Island, but it's actually called Coney Island. Um, it's in Brooklyn, New York. Or in GTA 4, it's in Broker, but Broker is based on um, uh, Broker is based on Brooklyn. And I apologize for my filming. If my filming isn't the best here, I'm sorry for that. I'll, I'll probably repeat myself a few times on this, but this is my first time using like one of these selfie sticks. I've never used these before, and uh, you guys are probably hearing a bit of background noise. That's actually the trains. That's how loud they are. So, anyways, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna be re recording this place and I'm gonna talk about you know how it's relevant to the story in GTA 4 what happens in the story in GTA 4 here and I'll show you guys like some of the famous landmarks that's in the neighborhood so I hope you guys enjoy this and if you guys do enjoy this series I will I could possibly do more like neighborhoods in New York in the future but probably months from now because right after the new year I'll be um, uh, going back um, home to the Midwest where I live right now but anyways let me show you guys right now like this area hope you, you guys enjoy this there we have the subway. So as you guys can see, the train is very close to the, um, uh, to the boardwalk, just like in the game. So in the game, you have the boardwalk right there, and you do got the train. But there is a little bit of a difference, because in GTA 4, oh, I'm sorry for that, everyone. In GTA 4, the train is actually one block away exactly from the boardwalk. So right when you um, right when you walk down the street from the boardwalk, the train is there, but in real life it's actually two blocks away. What's this world coming to? And so also, you got a lot of those big, tall apartment buildings that you do. You got those just like in the game. But the thing is though, these apartment buildings, there, as you guys can see, there is just way more of them in real life. Sorry about the noise, the train is actually that loud. You guys can probably hear the video from here. Here we got the entrance to the fun fair, as Nico says. So, where are you taking me? Uh, you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm new here. I thought maybe we could go to the uh, fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it, um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo <laughs> But, um, uh, this place is actually called Luna Park in real life. And as you guys can see, you got the famous roller coaster. I'm trying to remember what it's called in GTA 4 exactly. I'll probably have the name of it in the subtitles down below. Uh, but this place is actually closed, um, uh, obviously, because it's December time. And actually, I actually prefer coming here um, around this time of the year because there's barely anyone. There's a few people that you'll see on the boardwalk, but there's barely anyone. Where in the summertime, this place will be filled up pretty, um, pretty well. So this place, I, um, uh, I enjoyed coming here a lot as a kid. I come, I came here a lot when I was a kid in the late '90s, early 2000s. I showed up here a lot. But I haven't been here in, you know, probably well over 10 years. So haven't been here in some time. But we're going to be show. I'm going to show you guys not just this street, obviously. 
I'm gonna show you guys a lot of this, um, a lot of this place, and I'll go down, I'll go down to the, um, train station a little bit later, and I'll try to film that, and I'll try to show you guys that, but, you know, I apologize if my filming isn't the best, this is the first time that I'm using, like, one of these selfie sticks, I've never used one of these before, so I'm just trying my best, so I apologize for that, but, um, yeah, as you guys can see right here, this is, um, uh, yeah, probably people are trying to figure out where to um, uh, where to park, and they can't figure it out here. I actually struggled to park here when I uh, came here also. I couldn't figure out where to park, and then eventually I found a, a block away. There was actually a meter, and I paid for it. But that's one of the things that New Yorkers hate about New York, and I'm from here. And I can tell you that parking in New York just absolutely sucks. There are so many places that does not have good parking. And on top of that, the city is not clear a lot of times where you can park like there's no standing here anytime but the thing is though there's just one small sign here and i could be wrong but when i was down there before i didn't even see one sign no standing so somebody could somebody could drive all the way like all the way down there and they'll just park and they won't even know that they're parking illegally because they miss this small little sign and then the police come and just give them a massive ticket but i could be wrong there could be a sign somewhere and maybe i'm just not seeing it but the only sign that I saw here was just this small sign, and I don't know what this is right here on the floor. It looks like part of a um, part of the lantern or something. I don't know. But anyways, enough of me um, uh, filming that. Let's move on from this area. Okay, so we are right here at the end of the street now from where I was. And um, I'll film the amusement park a little bit later, but I wanted to show you guys the boardwalk first. So does this look very familiar right here? This street, I know people might not think much of this right here, but this street is actually the same street that Nico actually takes Michelle down. So when Nico goes on his first date with Michelle, or her real name is Karen, they will actually drive right down this street. Let me actually show you guys the street in GTA 4 right now. Hey, Nico, the carnival isn't open. I think they're going to turn it into a big Las Venturas-style theme park. Hey, there's a bowling alley up here. We should... Cool. Let's go bowling, then. So you guys saw it right there, and um, uh, uh, Michelle tells Nico that the um, uh, that the carnival isn't open right now because GTA 4 actually takes place, I believe, in November of 2008. It takes place in the fall, and right now I'm in December, so this is you know one month ahead. But this would be like you know around the same time, like or I should say season that GTA 4 takes place because GTA 4 is in 2008. But right up here, I will show you guys the boardwalk. But yeah, this is the boardwalk, very familiar to GTA 4, but a lot of you guys are seeing this right now. So we do see a bit of people on the, um, uh, on the boardwalk right now. I'm not going to try to film anyone for their privacy reasons. But as you guys can see, there's the beach. I don't know if you guys can hear that also, but there are um, uh, there's a lot of people that are speaking Russian. I just heard somebody speaking it, and uh, a good detail that um, uh, that GTA 4 gets right is that Coney Island is largely a Russian neighborhood. There's a lot of Russian Americans, Russian immigrants that actually live here in this neighborhood, and um, uh, a lot of Eastern Europeans, I'd say too. But 
it's mostly a Russian neighborhood. There's a lot of stores with Russian signs on them. That's actually the primary reason why there why it's um uh, there's a lot of Russian uh, NPCs in GTA 4. So when Rockstar was designing um uh, Liberty City, which is based on New York, not only did they get a lot of the boroughs right, but they also got a lot of the neighborhoods right. So yes, Coney Island is largely a um uh, a Russian neighborhood in real life. Uh, there's other groups here, obviously, but there's a lot of Russian um uh, a lot of Russian immigrants here. And when you think of Coney Island, um uh. You think of a lot of Russian stores, and you think of the boardwalk and the um, and the amusement park. Nico in GTA 4 is actually um, uh, he's Serbian, both him and Roman. Despite what so many people think, so many people think that um, uh, Nico is actually Russian, but no, he's Serbian. Good to see you, man. What? You forget our language? Hey, uh, Capucci? Maybe a little. I've been here ten years. You could speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big... Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm not so uh, good. You'll be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah! So good to see you, cousin. <laughs> okay, so here you can see me. And you should see more of the boardwalk. And um, as you guys notice, one thing that's a major difference between GTA 4 and um, uh, the real life neighborhood is that the boardwalk is actually much, much bigger in real life. You probably know more people here than me. More assholes, maybe. I agree. Everything is shit. Here we have another street that um, leads right up to the boardwalk, and this street is actually much wider than the street that's actually in GTA 4. There's multiple blocks that actually go up to the boardwalk. And also, the boardwalk not only is it wider, but it's also just much longer. So you see, you see just how far the boardwalk actually goes down. It's actually massive. Huge amounts here. In GTA 4, the um, uh, the boardwalk is maybe half this size. I'm, I'm apologizing if I'm closing my eyes a little bit here. It's a lot of sunlight that's just coming into my eyes at this angle. But um, uh, yes, the boardwalk is actually a lot um, uh, a lot smaller in GTA 4. And um, you guys notice one thing right here behind me. You guys notice this place? This is the bathrooms right here. And uh, the reason I'm recording that is because the building looks almost identical in GTA 4. I don't know if there's actually a bowling alley here because in, in, um, in GTA 4, there is a bowling alley. But I can't remember there being a bowling alley here when I was a kid. I think that that was just added into the game just as something for fun, but I could be wrong. But also, um, another thing about this boardwalk is I'm pretty sure that this boardwalk had renovations because I remember that when I was a kid, this boardwalk was in terrible condition. Parts of it were. Um, there was holes in it. No, it just, it just didn't look as good as it does now. Um, now it looks just much better. And also, you guys can see that... Um, uh, that little um, uh, tower ride—I don't know—I don't know what those things are called. Somebody, uh, somebody probably knows in um, uh, in the comments what that thing is called right there. Uh, that's right behind me. But those things that you basically, you know, you go up and down. Um, so, a lot of the rides are actually pretty accurate to what it um, uh, to what Liberty City actually looks like. Too many gorillas. I love. A As you guys can see also, there's a lot of seagulls here in this neighborhood because this is right near the ocean, so they like to hang out right near the water. And 
and yes, they are that loud. So here is the um, park map right here. Moderate thrill, mild thrill, high thrill, food and beverages. So this is just a map of Luna Park. And you guys can see the subway is a block away from it. They got the subway on the map too. You guys see that tower thing is right there. The roller coasters are kind of in the um, uh, well, the big roller coaster, the um, uh, cyclone. That's right there on the map. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to try to get some footage of the park itself now, um, but um, I'm going to be very limited in how and where I can go because a lot of this place is, um, uh, is closed down. And you guys probably hear the sirens in the background. Um, uh, you're probably wondering, is this um, is this common in New York? And yes, sirens are very common in New York. You hear a lot of trains, depending on where you live. Here, you'd hear the, the train constantly. But yes, sirens are very common in New York. Ambulance, firefighter, police. Because um, there's just so many people that I guess there's just always something going on. So um, here, guys, I got into the park a little bit here. Um, I think that I'm allowed in here because I didn't see any kind of signs and the area wasn't blocked off. So I'm assuming I'm allowed in here. But um, uh, I just came from the street right there. But anyways, um, uh, this area, this is the park. And this is what like you know a lot of people are familiar with in GTA 4 is because a lot of these, this, is, look, this looks almost identical to GTA 4 because these, these places are closed up. And um, what this place is the most famous for in the story in GTA 4, it's not even the story of GTA 4, but in the Ballad of Gay Tony. In the Ballad of Gay Tony, in the final mission, Departure Time, um, Luis has to stop Ray Bulgarin before he, um, uh, before he flees um, uh, Liberty City. Oh, train again. <laughs> yep, a lot, of, um, a lot of noise. Okay, train is mostly gone for the most part. It's still here a little bit. But um, uh, what I was saying is that um, uh, basically Bulgarin wants Luis dead. And so Luis goes here to confront Bulgarin and the Russian mafia. And um, uh, yeah, I don't think I can really go farther than this. Yeah, I think that this is, this is really the, um, uh, yeah, this is the farthest that I can get to um, in the park. So yeah. People are back allowed back here because there's mincing signs, but um, uh, there's really nothing past there, I guess. I'm gonna show you guys the roller coaster still, try to get a good shot of that angle of it. But um, uh, so, anyways, in the main story in the Ballad of Gay Tony, um, at the very end of the at the very end of the game, um, Luis co goes here to confront Bulgarin, and what the Russian mafia is doing in GT in the Ballad of Gay Tony is that they are using the amusement park when it's closed down in the um, in the fall and they're actually using it to actually hide heroin so a lot of them a lot of the rides actually this is in the game obviously but in the game a lot of the rides they have heroin inside them and so Luis is just smashing them up and then he has that showdown with Timmer Now Raskolov is dead, we have sole claim to the junk. <laughs> Andy Dominican here to see you. Come on, motherfuckers! No. 
Nice to see you. No more waiting. It's on now. more you know um uh more of those shops that are uh try to angle this correctly yeah more of those shops that are like you know closed over there um but you know it's more or less the same you know you just have the gate down on it um and uh you know there's you know, a lot of graffiti here but uh that's pretty common so every neighborhood in new york will have graffiti especially on like you know the gates so like the gates when they're closed down um uh, there will just be a lot of graffiti in a lot of places my neighborhood where I grew up, there was a lot of graffiti as well. It's just, it's just very common. If you're, um, uh, if you live in New York, you're just used to the graffiti. It's in a lot of places. Secure your property. Secure your cell phone. This is a little notification thing that the NYPD has in your police department. Um, the reason stuff like this is, is here is because, you know, in, in December time, you're not going to have a lot of people that are going to walk around here, but. I'll tell you though, if you 
for instance, let's just say that you were sitting right there, right? You put your bag down there and you went to get to the bathroom really quickly. If, you, if you're even maybe just a few minutes in the bathroom, your bag is going to be gone. And that's not even um, uh, that's not even to say you know Coney Island's not a not a I'm not saying Coney Island's a bad place. Coney Island's a decent neighborhood, but that's you know very common in New York, even in the nicest areas, even in the nicest areas, the most um, uh, you know the best neighborhoods ever. That's still very common. Um, pickpockets, you know stuff like that. I'm not you know I'm not trying to trash New York by any means. I'm from here, but I'm just saying is that you know a lot of you know tourists they come to New York where you know theft is not as common but you know this is the big city and you know there are criminals that will you know they will keep an eye on everyone and they will see when, when somebody's a tourist you know they will often prey on those people really um uh, really quickly there's no tourists almost no tourists around this time because this is you know this is december time when this is happening you know tourists are going to come here in summertime but um also they're probably warning you about pickpockets and um if you ever visit new york you know, be careful of scams because people will try to, um, uh, there will be people that will approach you and they'll try to pull a scam on you. Uh, you know, there's all these different, you know, there's all these different scams that scumbags will try to pull on you. You know, if somebody, if you're a tourist ever in New York and somebody approaches you and they're being like really nice to you, just out of nowhere, just a stranger comes up to you and starts being really nice to you, chances are they're trying to pull some kind of scam. I'm not saying everybody that's coming up to you and is trying to pull a scam, but just be aware of that walks up to you and just starts being really friendly to you all of a sudden, um, chances are they could be pulling a scam. So just, just be careful for that. Tourists are going to oftentimes fall for that really quickly. You guys see where I'm sitting right now? I'm sitting on the, um, uh, I'm sitting on the bench right now. And um, these benches, there is just so many, oh, sorry, trying to get this at the right angle, but there is a lot of these benches just all over. And um, uh, the reason that this bench is kind of um, uh, important is because I call this the bench of betrayal. Um, because um, uh, what the boardwalk in GTA 4 is the most famous for, for in the entire storyline, it's the most famous for um, uh, the Master and the Molotov. In that mission, that's the mission where um, Dimitri actually sits down with Nico, telling him that they need to talk. And Dimitri basically goes through this, you know, big speech with Nico, telling him how Faustin is the aggressor, and that um, uh, Nico needs to get rid of Faustin. And so Dimitri seems like a reasonable guy, but in reality, he's a psychopath that's manipulating Nico. And if you want to know the reason on why um, uh, Dimitri betrays Nico, I have a whole video explaining this. I'll have that linked at the end, decently long. But yeah, this is, um, uh, that's what I always think of. Whenever I think of the boardwalk in GTA 4, I always think of that mission where Dimitri betrays Nico. That's what um, uh, I always think of when I think of this, this uh, area specifically here. Dimitri. Hey. Sit down. What's the problem? What do you think? Mikael, Mr. Fausto. Uh-huh. You're given a choice. Kill your best friend or die. What do you do? And there is no way out? Not now. Not after you killed Petrovic's son. You don't have any family. You could run. Wherever you go, people will find you if they want to badly enough. And for this, they want blood. But you and Mikhail, you have so much history. Sure. Well, I killed the boy, so they want me too. No. I told them you were a hired gun. And they said, as long as you were the one to kill him, you'd be spared. <laughs> so that's the way it is. Yes, that's the way it is. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. You know, if there's one thing I've learned, 
It's that we must obey the rules of the game. We can pick the game, Nico Bellic, but we cannot change the rules. See you later. So here now I'm on the beach. And um, I'm gonna say though, I'll tell you guys this. Even though Coney Island was my favorite neighborhood growing up as a kid, the reason I loved Coney Island so much was because of the amusement park, obviously. There's also an arcade, but I don't even know if the arcade is open this time of year. And I don't even know if it's still here. I haven't been in so long, but it, it was on the boardwalk. I'm trying to remember exactly where. I'll see if I can find it later, if it's still even there. But um, I never really liked the beach on Coney Island. I'm not really much of a beach guy. But um, the reason I didn't like the beach um, on Coney Island is because this is a city beach. And there's a few reasons for that. The first thing is, you obviously see there's so much stuff on the ground here. You know, you see she uh, seashells, a lot of stuff. You're going to see garbage, a lot of places also, you know, even possibly broken glass. So I'm going to tell you right now, you know, I would not walk on this beach, you know, um, uh, barefoot. You know, you could easily stab your foot on something here. There's a lot of sharp stuff that you could possibly stab your uh, foot on. So that's, you know, that's why I never really liked the beach on um, Coney Island. I always liked the amusement park. The beach is nice, nice view, but it wasn't like a place that I wanted to, um, you know, go on to and swim. Um, and on top of that, I wouldn't even really swim in the waters in New York. I mean, the waters here, you know, I'd say they're more clean than, you know, other parts of the city, like where you got the Hudson there, you know, upper part of the Hudson, but, you know, yeah. I, I would not swim in the waters in New York. And like I said, you know, I said this in a lot of my videos, you know, don't don't fish in New York either. Because, you know, there's a, there's, in, in GTA 3, the more explanation for why the why Claude and Tony Cipriani can't swim in GTA 3 and Liberty City stories is because the water is so toxic that both Tony and Claude die the second that they get in the water. But um, obviously the water isn't that toxic in real life, but um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the healthiest water either. This part of the city, yeah, the water I'd say is more healthy because you don't really have any factories and there isn't really a very, very like urbanized part. It is the city, but you don't see like, you know, this isn't like, you know, parts of Manhattan where it's right on the water. This is just, you know, um, uh, you know, you know, public beach here. So here you have that really long like boardwalk pad of Lucia steel um no steep steep let let chase here. But you guys recognize this from GTA 4, yep. You have this really long like um uh you know dock um This is what the entire, um, uh, well, not the entire, but you can see a huge chunk of Coney Island here. You can pretty much see all of the fa affairs from here. There are a few people that are fishing out here, too.
like we got a helicopter out there too. Great view from here, but it's just the um, it's just the end of the pier that's out here. Oh, look, we got a pigeon here. <laughs> In GTA 4, um, uh, how many is there? Is there 50? Is there 50 or 100 pigeons? I'm trying to remember, it's either 50 or 100. But um, uh, in GTA 4, they are called flying rats. And um, uh, the reason that they are called flying rats is because they fly around and they poop a lot, so they cause a lot of garbage. That's, that's essentially why they're called flying rats. But yeah, this um, uh, this boardwalk is looking a lot nicer than when I was um, uh, when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure they had renovations. I don't know re exactly what year it would be, but um, I don't remember it looking this nice when I was a kid. The um, a lot of the boardwalk was not in good condition when I was um, uh, when I was a kid growing up. You know, this is uh, late '90s, early 2000s. I'm pretty sure they had a renovation here. Here we have a little bit of a um, frame of the water, and yes, you have those rocks also on the, um, uh, let me zoom in a little bit here, you have those rocks across the beach, you do also have that in GTA 4, so um, Rockstar got that attention to detail right here. And what do we have here? Work in progress commercial. So it looks like we have a new um, ride that's coming up. This is what it's going to be looking like. Can we even see anything inside there? Let me see if I can try to get a good frame inside there. I might not be able to see much in here. Oh yeah, looks like they're building it right now. Yeah, I don't really have much good frame here, but I'm going to move on to the another part of the park here. So I'm back here. I'm going to see if I can get some better shots of the park at this um uh, at this angle here. And uh, one thing I noticed while walking on this is I think that this boardwalk right here, I think this is the original boardwalk. I think this is the boardwalk that I walked on when I was a kid. I don't think this got changed. Because this looks very different than the, than the other parts of the boardwalk. Yeah, this is just... As you guys can see, the quality on this one is just nowhere near as good as the quality on that boardwalk up there. So, yeah, I think that that boardwalk eventually got changed. But I don't think this got changed here ever. Okay, so here I am right on the main street, um, uh, right outside of Luna Park. Um, Sorry, everyone, this is like my first time using a selfie stick, so I'm just trying to get the angle correctly. But there's a massive, just the, the massive entrance that's just right here. And um, as you guys can see, the train is a block away. It's not on this street. And this street in, um, in GTA 4, this street is a lot uh, smaller. So as you can see, in, the, in real life, the street outside of the amusement park is actually a lot wider. It actually is. It's not... Um, uh, it is not it is not as small as it is in GTA 4. Если к тому же секс утром, сигарету в постели как раз то, что надо. Find someone else to talk to. We get lights to carry a salt bag. And 
look at where I am here, guys. This is the Cyclone. Recognize this in GTA 4? Yup. This is the most famous ride in all of Coney Island. Out of all of the rides in Coney Island, this is the most famous one out of all of them. And it's the most well-known one in GTA 4. When you think of Firefly Island in GTA 4, you think of the, um, uh, the, roll, the big wooden roller coaster, but... Damn, I can't remember its name in GTA 4. I can't believe I can't remember its name in GTA 4. But that's that's it right there. And the thing is, though, is this roller coaster is older than me. This roller coaster existed way before me and probably way before you guys as well. This roller coaster, if you want to know how old this thing was, I was actually surprised. I, I'm from New York, and I didn't even realize how old this roller coaster was. I knew it was old, but I didn't know it was that old. I looked it up. This thing was built in 1927, so this roller coaster is almost 100 years old, this wooden roller coaster. That's, oh man, that is crazy. And, um, uh, is it still in operation today? So I read a little bit more about the Cyclone just now, and yes, this thing is still in operation today. You can apparently ride this thing, but obviously in the summertime. And um, uh, that's just crazy, man, this thing being that old. And this has actually been designated a historic landmark by New York City. So this is the old, looks like, yeah, this is the oldest ride in all of um, Coney Island. And it's also the largest ride in all of Coney Island, but I would, I would not ride this. Um, uh, you know, I think it looks cool, but um, I would not ride uh, this 100 year old, um, uh, 100 year old roller coaster. You know, I, 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 it's probably safe. Don't get me wrong. It probably is, but I'm just, I'm just really paranoid because of just how old it is. But um, that is the Cyclone. That is um, uh, the largest roller coaster in Coney Island. And um, the most well-known ride in Coney Island. You guys recognize this right here? This is the subway platform. And um, this is the most famous in the GTA 4 storyline where Vlad actually sends Nico to retrieve a car uh, from this guy that owes money to him in Dukes. And so he tells Nico instead of driving that he has to go and take the subway. There you are. Okay. Glad. Come on, let's go for a walk, okay? Right. Okay. Come on. I don't even like that. Where are we going? To my car. Why? Because of your cousin what? owe me a lot of money and until he pays me, you fresh of the boat. Yeah, your ass is mine. What the fuck you mean why? Hey, you are a pretty relaxed guy, huh, Vlad? Come on! Put him in, you stud, I wage mark! Come on, Yoko! What's wrong with you? You gonna Watch jump it, me? Dude. No, I had a late night last night. Spent yeah. it with Mikhail. Great. Yeah, wild! Yeah, I guess you're right. That's so who the hell one. is Mikhail? Hey, Mikhail's a man! What the hell's that guy Shit! My nose is bleeding. Is my nose bleeding? No, not yet. Fuck this. Come on! Wait! I'm walking hey, here! Wait the fuck Let's go! Up. Damn city, always trying to run you down, huh? Hey man, get a Get that job, hey, you deadbeat crackhead! Just a little change, uh, man! Man, hey, where do whoa, these people whoa, get up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like I'm gonna pay for their drug habits. Well, say something! You are so fucking laid back! Moron! Come on! Want some? We walked all the way over here so you could snort coke? No, listen. Ah, that's better. Huh? 
That's better. Man, Michal gets the good stuff. It's a got some laxative in it, though. Gives you a stomach problem. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah, listen, uh, where were we? I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I need you to head up to Duke's and get a car for me. It's a silver blister, and it's packed in the projects by EIC subway station, okay? Sure. <laughs> you got yeah. keys? Uh, no, Yokel. I need you to take the car. Asshole owes Mikhail some money. Take his car instead, huh? <laughs> we gonna drive over there? What? Are we gonna drive over there? No. You're gonna take the train, buddy. You think I wanna be in the car with a peasant? Come on. I'm gonna go meet somebody! <laughs> Have a little <Okay>. party! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> bye, Have fun, dickhead. Looks like going up. Um, uh, I'm not gonna go up there though because I don't have a um, I don't have a ticket. I parked here not too uh, 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 not too far away. But uh, we can see a uh, subway map. And yes, the uh, trains are actually that loud. And um, uh, go right up on the train tracks. And uh, that's that basically. But I guess um, uh, we're gonna end it off here, guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed um, uh, my tour of Coney Island. Um, Privet, Sim, um, the Coney Island, New York. I hope I got that right. Um, practicing a little bit of Russian, trying to learn. Uh, my father um, speaks fluent Russian. Um, this is a, ru a large Russian neighborhood after all. But um, uh, that, that means that, hello everyone, I am in Coney Island, um, uh, New York. Somebody let me know in the comments if I got that right. But um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'd still love to show you guys some more, but um, the sun's coming down um, pretty soon. So it's like, um, uh, it's getting close to five. And in New York in the fall, when it gets to 5 p.m., you know, it's pretty much dark at that point. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'd love to come back here again, maybe in the summertime. I will come back here again when I visit family and I'll actually film the rides and stuff like that in the summertime. But again, this was my favorite neighborhood, uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I visited here a lot. I really liked coming here, it was a lot of fun. Amusement park was awesome, pretty loud still. It is New York after all. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this comparison. I might do other neighborhoods because there's a lot of other neighborhoods that I could do in New York in real life and comparing it to, um, uh, comparing it to GTA 4. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. 
And um, if you're new to my channel, join can subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.